Realagriculture.com Canola School is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. Okay, Derwin, let's talk about seeding rate. Um, what is our ideal seeding rate for canola? Uh, well, what we always like to say is it's whatever rate will deliver uh, that ideal plant population of somewhere around 10 plants per square foot. Uh, the yield curve is pretty flat with canola. Anywhere from probably 7 to 14 plants will deliver pretty similar yields and give you a, a decent shot at a maximum yield potential for the, the crop. But uh, one thing that came out of our agronomy survey that we did last year uh, was that the vast majority of growers uh, are seeding at 5 pounds an acre or less. And so in those situations, uh, with the larger seed size that we see in a lot of the hybrid varieties which have come to dominate the marketplace, um, you really need high rates of emergence from that seed to deliver those adequate plant populations. So it's really important if you're at those lower seeding rates to take the time to, to uh, pay attention uh, to things like seed depth and, and precise placement and avoid fertilizer toxicity in those one pass seeding operations uh, to give uh, every opportunity for the majority of that seed to grow. And isn't it a case as well that uh, one seeding rate doesn't fit all? Uh, I think a lot of times what happens is guys talk to their neighbors uh, and their neighbor says, well last year I seeded at three and a half pounds and I got a you know a 60 bushel yield and so uh, people tend to think, well, that'll work for me as well. And maybe the spring conditions were ideal that year. Um, uh, is, it, is it really the case where it fits everybody the same rate? No, that's a very good point. It really does vary. The toughest part when you're, when you're doing the uh, equation that we have on our website and figuring out uh, to get that, that uh, say, 10 plants per square foot, what seeding rate you need, the, big, the toughest number to fit in that equation is what do I estimate for mortality on my seed? How much of my seed is going to produce viable plants? And we know it can vary anywhere from probably 20-25% all the way up to 80-90% depending on the growing conditions. If you've got ample moisture right to the soil surface and, and reasonably warm soil temperatures, uh, you'll often get those nice high rates of emergence if you do a good job of placing that seed in a nice band uh, at that shallow half inch depth or so. And, um, and so the kind of equipment would also be uh, would also have an impact right so if you if you've got precision uh, some sort of precision equipment that's meant to seed at very shallow depths so you're an experienced canola grower you can maybe push the rates down if this is the first year or second year you've ever grown canola and uh, you're just starting out, maybe not seeding at below five pounds a good idea? Well, certainly, you know, openers and uh, equipment that delivers, as you said, that nice precise placement and experience certainly does help. Um, all of those factors will help improve that percent seed survival. And, and the more you can bump up that number, uh, the lower you can go with that seeding rate and, and still achieve that adequate plant stand. But if you know uh, you're heading into, say, cool conditions, we, we know that early seeding contributes to uh, higher yield typically, but it also can contribute with the cool uh, soil and stress to more plant mortality as far as uh, getting fewer of those seedlings established. So there is a balance there and you need to consider that uh, in, in your thought process as you're estimating. And we have lots of information available on our website about some of the various factors that can contribute to that seed mortality uh, along with a few insights as to perhaps how you can adjust that mortality figure in that equation uh, to make it more appropriate. So it really, I think the good point there was the balance. It's really a balancing act. Um, uh, seed too light, have a, a very cool spring and we're looking at a reseeding situation or, or, or moving to a different crop. That's right and that's really what our, our recommended target in a lot of our stand establishment uh, campaigns of around 10 plants per square foot. We recognize you can probably drop to close to half that and still achieve close to optimum yields if things go well and the plants compensate well if you get good growing conditions later in the growing season. Uh, but targeting that kind of a plant population gives you some room for error. Uh, if we have some frost issues or flea beetles that bump up, cause some uh, after emergence mortality, we got a little room to work with and still achieve that kind of minimum of five or six plants that still has a shot at delivering us uh, optimal yields. 
Dermott. Thank you very much for joining us today.